Hi, my name's Sean Melia. I work for Kinetic, based at Winfrith. Um, I decided to become an engineer um, because I've always wanted to uh, use computer aided design. Uh, and since uh, a young age, I've really enjoyed um, designing and drawing and, and making up new things. Um, I've also had the opportunity to travel to the Middle East uh, to install uh, equipment, so that was uh, really interesting. Yeah. Very hot. <laughs> to become an engineer, I, uh, I went to college uh, where I did an advanced GMVQ in engineering and also did uh, City and Guilds. Um, I also then progressed on to a HND in computer aided design um, and computer aided engineering. Um, and then I then went on to a degree um, at Bournemouth University, uh, which was a Bachelor's of Science with honours um, in design engineering. Further to that, I've also, I'm also on a, uh, a postgraduate certificate with Kinetic uh, in business management. Kinetic is uh, the company I work for, okay. um, and it's a uh, research and engineering uh, company, uh, which was uh, derived from DERA, which was a, uh, a part of the government and the Ministry of Defence. And we, uh, we design uh, applications for mi uh, military. Okay. So I specifically look at the naval and uh, sea aspects of that. Engineering is such a varied subject that there is something for everyone as far as I'm concerned. Um, I mean, the most important thing, like all subjects, is that you have to have a small interest in it. Um, but once you've got that, then uh, you can drive to whatever you want to do, really. Uh, be it a software engineer, electrical engineer. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm lucky in fact that I cover all the the different aspects. So, uh, most rewarding thing is seeing your first product uh, through design, concept, um, right through to manufacture and final installation and being able to hand it over to the customer. That's uh, really enjoyable. There's a vast uh, opportunities out there for engineering and uh, so at the moment I'm progressing uh, with Kinetic um, and hoping to get my charger, charger ship with uh, the Institute of Engineering and Technology, where I can be a uh, lead engineer, hopefully. Engineering experience um, I gained from my work placements uh, at school, uh, during uh, work shadowing and work placement. Um, from there I got work experience from uh, my sandwich year at um, my Bachelor's of Science, which I worked with Siemens, which was really interesting. And from there I then went on uh, to uh, I mean, at school I, I uh, did very well at science. Not so, not wasn't uh, my favourite as physics, but I still enjoyed uh, all of them. And, and uh, I mean, resistant materials was another favourite where you design things and, and woodwork and stuff like that. So. Maths is important, but it's not the be all and end all. Uh, I mean, from my perspective, maths wasn't my strongest subject, but through uh, concentration and, and through applying myself, I've managed to, to get to where I am. So, science is probably better than maths. I don't need to be a mathematician in order to do engineering. You just need to understand that. Know what you want to be, focus on that, and uh, apply yourself because you'll get what you want. Um, so basically, just lay out a plan and, above all, ask questions. Um, there's plenty of people out there who can help you, and uh, if you get the right person, you'll, you'll find out you'll get the right course. So. Being an engineer is great. <laughs>